Today I've realized I never introduced myself in my vlogs and as you mean it what one I enjoy. So my name is Rihanna, I create lifestyle content and today we are going to do a kitchen tour. Now the only reason why I'm doing this tour is because <laughs> when you ain't no may request for it, but for me I feel like my kitchen is it's tiny. So as in Nilen you can be a fanya tour, it's like kitchen. You know that guy on Instagram who does this kitchen? I think mostly I'm going to concentrate on the appliances in the kitchen because it will be like a one second video. So hope you enjoy this vlog and if you requested for it, Nimeti Miza promise. I know it's a long time coming but Nimeti Miza. Okay, so this is what you see when you get in ridge on the right this is the whole overview from this side storage cabinets up there and a few storage down there and then that ugly door I don't know why I don't know why in Kenya we have that ugly door in our kitchens but we do these curtains I think I have them made from someone on Instagram I can't even remember her name but she did a pretty good job and in my previous house I used to have a black and white theme so you'll notice a lot of black and white then this is what you see on this other side so I'm literally standing at the door this door that I've shown you leads to the balcony we won't go there because <laughs> there's no need so apa kuna sink yangu and then this is how I've connected my washing machine. I get a lot of questions on how I did the connection for my washing machine. Actually, I had to change this cut up over here because um, where I live we have a uh, bohol water and it kind of rats the other kind of taps. And this is the only tap <laughs> that neza kanayo sana bila it rusting and kuaribika. So... That's why I have this tap on. It's not the most aesthetic pleasing tap, but you know what? It gets the job done <laughs> and that's what we're going to work with. So for the connection, this is what I've done. So I have this pipe here. This is for the water inlet. This one, it takes water to the washing machine. Mm -hmm. Then this is the outlet that takes water out of the washing machine now the dirty water here i've put a lever this lever is either to turn the water on or off so i can choose if i turn it like this that means the water will be off so there will be no water going into the washing machine but usually i don't even mess with it because <laughs> there's a time i was messing with it and i messed with the connection here kawaluzi kanzaku leak so i just leave it open um, it does not affect the machine in any way because automatic washing machines have internal controls that let water in and out so I'm not bothered and then this outlet I know some of you will be like ah, but guys <laughs> it don't matter it don't matter the only downside is that I have to, when I'm doing my laundry I have to make sure that I don't have any dishes in my sink because of course it's an overflow. So that's the only downside. But the rest of the things I think is now work too sour. And if I was to have these um, pipes, now kuchini, I'd have to dig holes. Kwaizima walls zote. You see, that could have been a lot of work. Ningekwa in a mess rental yamtu and I'm not about that life. And the other question is why is the washing machine hey, machine nanyango <laughs> why is the washing machine in the kitchen instead of maybe bathroom or ruko kwa corridor or in there before i had another washing machine in my balcony but it because it used to get rained on na ina chapa na jua so i was like you know what when i get a new one ina kandani the other parts of my house are not that spacious na pia hakuna pali ningeeka pali kuna connection ya socket na connection ya maji directly because it has to be directly connected to a socket so this place actually is for my cooker but <laughs> cooker ni meleta he said stuff ungua hizi <laughs> makabati because eh yeah no 
<laughs> on this other side i have this kind of thing where i keep my spoons for easy access when i'm cooking and my foils these two i bought them from okadeko and the reason why i have this here is because you know sometimes when you're cooking and you have a lot of sufrias on your cooker and you want to put your sufria somewhere you can put it there so that it does not burn this cut table i had my fundi make me this cut table you guys know how i love browns so i had him make it in a brown varnish i don't know it's doing it but it's brown and then this spice rack because i didn't want to put any shells on my i don't know if it's just me but i find shells very zinafanyanga place i cluttered ama ni mimi tu so this spice rack i bought it from house of leather and it holds all my spices and just two things that i need for cooking you know my oils my you know to stuff and then is socket in a lid kwa cooker and then he in a kujoko kwa kettle so i have my kettle mkenyam gani ana thermos i do not understand then over here i have my microwave and i have my tea station so my tea station is on top of my microwave just because again i'm working with a small space on my tea station this is what i have this cache my cups butterfly school do you remember <laughs> so this is where i put my two cups um and then some of my teas apa nikona majani chai um some honey some sugar coffee yenye inaisha <laughs> my rice cakes yeah eat is juka bani libe naiva samani wapi this kind of thing the tissue holder and then this thing for the tea i got it from house of leather it just holds all my teas let me show you some of my favorites i have green tea and black currant um hmm this is Oh, strawberry vanilla i love this one too and then i have yeah just plain green green tea which name is that this is where i keep like um my veggies the perishable ones like onions nini potatoes nakanga apple then this other basket i just keep my snacks that's my water bottle and then on that corner i keep my appliances that cannot go on top of this car meza <laughs> so apple chini kuna blender another kettle my toaster or what is it called sandwich making thingy and then yeah uko chini tu ni madogodanyo paint remaining paint nini 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 <laughs> so we want to go down there so imat imat i think i bought it from smart lady home not i think i know i bought it from smart lady home i like to have a mat up a washing machine because sometimes ukitoa manguo zinanguka chini and you don't want them to get dirty so i prefer the mat to be there then tukikuja inside this is where now i put all my cleaning items nyuma ya nyuma ya mlango we have my ah, i love this thing my vacuum cleaner just makes work so easy if you can't tell i love a stonish brand <laughs> like if you go to my bathroom a stonish a stonish a stonish so yeah this is what i use my kitchen cleaner for my floors this is what i use and to wash my clothes i use parcel though i think i want to use the liquid one i want to try it out i haven't used it i want to try it out and see and then this is for my mirrors windows glasses everything on this side this is what you see hapa juu sasa ndio makabati so hapa uh, i just put like zile vitu zenye natumia sana you know <laughs> like my peanut butter my sauce my my jam my bibi vitu kama hizo ndo zinakaanga hapo uko juu tu ni miscellaneous then um on this kabati here this is how it looks like so the lower part by the way my <laughs> my cupboards are really high and i'm short so <laughs> most of the time up under stool 
the lower part I use as a punchy. I don't label my <laughs> jars because I think it's a waste of time and money. Because <laughs> I'm just like, see, you can see it's pasta. See, you can see it's popcorn. See, you can see it's granola. See, you can see it's beans. And then I don't find it aesthetically pleasing. Okay, that's just me. Come on, I label and I like label. Me miss label. But yeah, <laughs> no. Yeah, then Ukoju, that's where I keep all my plastics and disposables. I really don't like plastic, but I kind of figured or realized that Kunaveni always survive bila plastic. So Ukoju Motupa. Anything and everything that's plastic from water bottles to you know just my plastic zikokoju. Ukojini panji. Let's go to the next one. So up I do this is where now I keep my dishes and my cups, you know, my glasses, everything that I use. Like I told you guys before, I used to have a black and white theme going on. So you'll notice a lot of black and white. This is not even supposed to be here. But what I need to wear for aesthetics. Yeah, so um yeah, so ukoju ni make my wine glasses, my drinking glasses, all of them to ukoju. And then uko chini ni meka cups zenye mutumia for coffee tea, my bowls and then these are my plates, uh serving plates, whatever, uh sauce, they're called saucers. I think this is the whole kitchen guys. Nimemaliza. Nimemaliza. I told you guys my kitchen is really small. So even the katua doesn't take long to do. So yeah, so this is my kitchen. Kale kashimo pale tunaitanga George because <laughs> there was a plumber. That's a gate valve it was leaking. Alikuja akatengeneza na akapotea. Yani me I'm telling you. <laughs> Renting in Nairobi. Eh. Uh -uh. So that's my kitchen. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section or come up with comments. Comments, Mzuri, Mzuri. If you have any video ideas, maybe something that you feel like I've missed out on or something you'd like me to talk about or show you guys, let me know in the comments section and I'll get to it. Come on, I to Sabi Aliuliza Nandoi Mimi. Nimeonyeshana. So. I hope it answered all your questions. Sometimes, by the way, you don't need a big space for it to be functional. It can be small, but it's still functional, you know. Um, hope you're inspired. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.